Caliandra hemisotophila. So there's the there's the bloom. This is the bud that's gonna bloom. It's not gonna bloom now because I cut it. But uh, this is the new growth is kind of bronze, and then they close up like this on it's cloudy great. days. So this morning it was cloudy, so it's kind of open. The brown and ones are the new leaves. The the brown ones are the juvenile growth. Yes, new leaves. Uh -huh. And then. Um, I'm not sure. So how would we differentiate that from, from Californica? Oh, well, Californica, I'll show you. It's very fine, very fine okay. texture. So this whole thing, right here, when you pull this off at mm -hmm. the petiole, there's a bud for another leaf to come out mm -hmm. or a branch. So this whole thing is bipinnately compound. Bipinate. So this is not. <laughs> what is that? So these are leaflets, but this these are two leaflets too, but it's twice compound. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. okay. And it's and it's even. In other words, there's not one coming right. out here, so it's yeah. not odd to compound, it's uh, even. It's even yeah. You start learning those, those uh, botanic uh, characteristics and help you identify. This is the false aurelia. In other words, this is just two leaves. That's yeah, growing nice gorgeous. vine. Which one is that again? This is called, oh, you want a number? Buxinatoria. Distictus buxinatoria. Number 62. Distictus buxinatoria. Distictus buxinatoria. Here's the flower. Tendrils. Yeah. And, but it'll, it'll just grow like crazy. That's just not even probably yeah, you have to three cut weeks. Them down. Yeah, yeah. Fast. fast growing. Oh, very, yeah. Very, very fast. Growing. Very good vine. Yeah. Somebody wants shade on a shade. And if you need a quick bit. coverage of the fence yeah. or anything, this is great. How do you cut it? You just look like some branches off. Well, when you, if you want to prune it, you're going to prune off this. X. Okay, thank you. Right cross. Brenda Flora. And this, this, these are the shiny, glossy abelia, real shiny leaves. There's a cultivar, very common, which I actually, prefer, not necessarily prefer, but I like it a, lot, a little bit better. It's called Edward Goucher, mm -hmm. and its its flower is more pink, pink. and oh. its leaf is crinklier, but this is a very fast-growing evergreen shrub mm -hmm. in this climate. In some climates it goes somewhat deciduous. I'll show you. This is the geranium. Alex Homatoria Stokes. This one is called, uh, this one is called Mallow Fluel. But I don't know the common name. Fluel, Mallow. This is Honeydew. This is Arbutus Unido, Compacta. That's all. That's what drips on your garden. Mm -hmm. You have a tree that has honeydew. For the aphids are Remember, I told there's thorns on here. This is a real makes a real good thicket. Yeah. You know, if you want nobody anybody to pass through, it makes a great thicket. It's deciduous, however. Usually, the flower comes on prior to the leaves. These are old leaves. We didn't have much of a winter, so these are last year's leaves. They just never fell off, and so the flowers come on first. How do you pronounce? I will never spell. I will never spell it. A C H in Latin is always pronounced like a K. Okay. 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 So the fruit turns into the flowers. Yes. And it's the flowers first. Then the then here look at see. And you see these are all anthers. That's the size of a leaf too. It's just a very little little. Into the fruit. It's really, it's beautiful. These these are just gorgeous yellow flowers. It's 
in the spring, and then they turned to this, and then they, they turned to here. Mahonia Lamar folia. I learned it as Venetian blind. Mahonia. It looks like Venetian blind. So this is Mahonia Lamar folia. It's usually in the multiple. Very sharp, so be careful. So this is the fruit. The flowers are bright yellow. If, if, if I could just show you, it'd be bright yellow, bright yellow, bright yellow. All this turns And then it turns to that. Remember, remember first, the flower first, then fruit. That one is, yeah. Okay, so there are two colors, or it goes to yellow? It goes from a, kind of a willow green to purple. Okay, so this one is called gray. Next, maybe. This is gray poly, Chinese gray poly. Yeah. Redolens. Acacia not really known for its flower, but you can see the flower. Not really known for that. It's primarily because it's so horizontal, blue-green look, very good drought tolerant Australian plant. Look how much it spreads as the ground cover. Those flowers are because of what's on the bill, yeah. Yes, because it's acacia. Most of taxonomists, division of botany, use the flower parts to categorize the plants. Uh -huh. Now, of course, with DNA, it's a little bit different now, so they're changing some of the things. Here. Actually, probably, I've never seen petiole. one here, but a lot of the cases you'll see on that flattened petiole. Yeah. But you can see the three of them. So that's the one. Yes. Some behind the and I'll show you more as we what walk. What is this? This is really nice. Yeah, I'm, I think, I'm not sure what that That's is. Pretty. I'm not going to say. Well, I'm not okay. You're not sure. No, I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a new one. And uh, I've asked for the planting palette when I installed this so I can figure out what's going to be the Laura Petalum, it's number uh, 102. It's fairly new. You know, right in California. Now, will this one, the leaves, will get kind of a bronzish reddish well, in the fall, or well, there's on there's it? actually some. See, it does have some have it on there, the bronze, right. but there is a variety of this that is bronze. Okay. How much water do they need? Oh, they're about medium water. Medium. What is that? This is this here. This is the French flower. Isn't that awesome? Is that true? It's awesome. Uh, yeah, let me yeah. tell you that the first one we the saw Korean. is being watered. This isn't being watered. So when they're not being watered, what do they do? They bloom like crazy because so they're dying and they want to procreate. So they're throwing those blossoms out, blossoms out, so they can drop <coughs> seed and grow again. Do you have a jasmine of yes, yes, on there. Okay, be sure and feel the stem. Remember I told you the square, square stem. stem. Hey, no, you're good. Go it's called jasmine of mesmei. Here's a flower. So cool. It's got a square stem? Square stem, see? Oh, yeah. But see, it's just a nice, crawling shrub. It has no water here, absolutely no water, so it's kind of suffering through the yellow leaves. But it'll make it, but it's got to have some water for the But it won't flower then, will it? Not very much. It doesn't flower there. Trifoliate leaf with three leaflets. Very unique, because you're going to have other jasmines. Okay. Okay, different color. Canomalies, kind Japonica. Kind of a salmon. Kind of a salmon, kind of a pink. Oh. Huh? No, that's... <laughs> agave attenuata. I found somewhere they call it foxtail agave. Oh, really? Well, yeah. I can see why. Yeah. You bet. So it does. We're going to start preaching. I can't put them off. Like, like, it's eyes down like this. See how the cups come up? Yeah. All this energy. Yeah. Yeah. How long does it take for this to like? Is like a year? It's very stressful. There's no water. I'm surprised it's even pushing new growth. It's been here a lot of years. It's, this is called a Sidium Fatman. What is it again? Guava. Strawberry guava. And it'll have an edible fruit. It's a very, very nice plant. I'm, 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 I 
I just, I'm going to try to get water to it somehow. How much does a little guava get? Uh, it's it's about, oh, maybe a nickel. The size of a nickel, and it's red. Yeah. I'm trying to, I thought I saw a minute ago. Is this one not fruiting because it doesn't have water? Yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, I see. I don't see any blossoms yeah. yet. That's a new growth. How about that? I just see new growth. I don't see blossoms yet. Yeah. Uh, blossom on the end. Uh, yeah, it does. The it does. It does. Okay. Uh huh. Starts off with real purple. Okay, that's today, yesterday, and tomorrow. What a sweet smell. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Deciduous. Blossoms come on usually first and then the leaves. This is a likes the shade. So yesterday's white. Yeah, the first one is today. Is real, real purple. Then it fades to this one, kind of a lavender. In and then another white. Isn't it nice, figure? It's beautiful. Okay. Let me go right around the corner and see the leaf. Okay. Okay. I showed you earlier today. See the bronze new growth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I don't have my kids anymore though. <laughs> yeah. You can call them chemists or something. A butyl on? Chinese uh lantern. Mm -hmm. Look at those veins on the Wow. Yeah, I think so. Let me see. Oh, my God, look at that one. No, that is something for the trash. This is the trash. Oh, yes, the red one. That's the flower in there. Yeah. Okay. How do you say it used to be? So now I remember that flower. It's the shrimp um, plant. I call it Bella Perone Guttata because that's how I learned it. But they changed the name. It's Juicicia. Juicicia now. And then right here. Yeah. Osmanthus fragrance. Okay, uh, there's bulbs in here, so be careful. This is your uh, yellow jessamine. Well, you just stepped on a bulb. Yeah. Actually, those seven separate Gelsimian sempervirens. The yellow, do they, are they all yellow flowers? Yellow flowers only. Are they going to wrap around the clothes? Yeah, see, I've got it started here and I'll just keep it going. Fast grower? Elator. 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 Is there a flower? Is there a flower? It has a flower on it, but noted for its foliage. This just happens to be a variegated one. Most of them are dark and green. That one's probably too much sun out there. Okay, here's another one. Where is the Aspidus then? Aspidus is right here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, cast iron. Okay, all shaded area. Is that as big as it grows? Uh, no, it, it grows about this tall. This one, that's called what again? It's called number 22. Blooming. It's called the Virginia Crassifolia. Okay. Very compact, formal looking plant, not very large. Which one are we on right now? 
Asparagus retrofract. What's dying right there? What's dying? Oh, they transplanted a, a one of those butylons over here, and it's just they hadn't watered it. I soaked it the other day. You can see where it's watered. I don't know. Asparagus retrofractus. They need to take, if they're going to, you know, you're going to transplant. you got to be here. And yeah, no, you got it. It's like, okay, let's just take, move it, and if it works, fine. If Do you have a plan of with these cacti? But on this is the wallflower? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It I wasn't here when they did it. I did some of these over in here. Yeah, because this looks like a good one. Is that that's still, no, that's a, actually a salvia. Yeah. No, it's a lavandula, excuse me. Just you saw. What about the hybrid that over there? Oh. You show me that. Yeah, please. There it is. Yeah, please. Likes shade. Likes is like some uh, morning sun or morning shadow. Sun. I'm going to have it grow on this tree. It's like I'm doing this one. Well, I would never be able to tell it's a hybrid. One more. And it's got yellow flowers, right? Yeah. What did you say? Uh, the boss didn't sign another sign. I've been here the whole time. You didn't talk, you don't talk I anymore. Know. I know. I just, it's been, I'm recovering from the flu. So. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, let's go look at the. What is that? Should it be a darker green? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's on a hillside, no maintenance. It's getting ready to bloom there. What is it called? This is a Prunus Carolinian. It will have a blackberry on it, uh, white flowers. Uh, very, very nice plant, especially the bright and tight. If you get Prunus Carolinian, bright and tight cultivar, it's a, it looks a lot like this. This may be one. I'm not sure who planted it. But it's real tight. It's more, you see it's kind of cone shaped or conical shaped. Makes a great hedge to 15 foot. Evergreen, fairly clean, good plant. Yeah, ever evergreen, ever messy too though. And some trees that are evergreen. Like eucalyptus. Evergreen, ever